Hey guys, um, <clears throat> since Stranger Things is set in the 80s and has showcased BASIC in a, in a w weird sort of off way, but it, it did showcase BASIC, which was a very popular programming language and still is. Um, and since the Apple II was a computer heavily in use in the 80s, I thought that I might make a little Stranger Things game in BASIC on an Apple II. Well, on an emulator anyway. Um, so, you get the Stranger Things logo, all nice, right? And, uh, welcome to the Stranger Things adventure, it asks for your name. And you type that in, and then, uh, you get the room description for the initial room that you're in. Now, this is, um, I may not actually implement the get, drop, inventory, fight, and run commands, or they might be implemented differently than I had originally thought. Because I think I'm going to write this uh, more as a sort of hunt the wumpus uh, type game, in which you are trying to find Eleven while avoiding the Gorgon. Um, which I think will fit nicely into some basic code uh, without becoming too, too terribly complex. Now you can move. And the way out of this room is south. And this actually is it brings you into the great room, blah dee dee ah, but really it's just the basement. And uh, east are the stairs, they take you up to your living room. Uh, you can actually go back down into the basement, but you can go out the door. I don't have it set here, but you can go north now. So, all of the movement is working already. Uh, let me go ahead and quit here. And as you can see here, uh, every location on the grid is a basic program. Um, now in order to get the variables to, f to move from uh, the stradv.bas, which is the um, the main program, to the other programs, I basically poke the variable data into specific points in the Apple's memory, and then when I load up the next program, I peek that information back out of the memory and put them back into the variables. It's kind of clunky, but it's kind of the way you have to do things on, on the Apple. Um, so passing the variables into specific points of memory and then pulling them back out is this, is this sort of strange thing uh, that you have to do on apples. This is the main program so far. It's got a lot of work that still has to happen to it. Um, and if I load one of the location ones, I can list that for you too. See that uh, row of asterisks? That's basically to help me keep track of the 80 character count per line when I'm writing out my prints, uh, so it formats and looks proper. Um, one of the other advantages of using individual basic files is that you could basically take a room, a, a grid section, and make a little mini game that only lives and exists there. Uh, it'd be good for puzzles, I guess, if you wanted to go that route. You see, there's uh, the Picus Sword is ST logo. So that's about it. Um, it's been kind of fun making, and I'm probably going to upload the uh, whole source code and everything someplace so everybody can do whatever they want with it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.